Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Uh, sit back and relax because I may freak out this morning, and I really hope I, hope I don't do that. Monday, November 22nd, 2021. People, it's a freak show. It's a freak show of the highest possible order, and we need to talk here. So right now, I warned about this yesterday in my markets, a look ahead. Turn on, turn on the mainstream media channels. Um, or, or go to Bloomberg or CNBC or whatever it might be. What we have here is a situation that, again, uh, is no surprise to you or me at all. They are playing up this whole, uh, I don't even want to say it, this thing that's going around again uh, in, 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 in a new wave. It's apparently really bad. Um, and this, we're starting to see lockdowns around the world yet again. Well, they, they're on that narrative in a big way, okay? Um, again, no surprise. This is all about control. You understand that. And they're going to do things like I've told you since time immemorial, I love saying that, that you can't possibly believe moving forward. So just uh, just be ready for it. I, I, I warned about that too. This environment from... from from the top down, backwards and sideways, is so corrupt, it's out of control. And like I've explained to you for a very long time, it's every man and every woman for him or herself, although we have to band together. But we got to understand what's going on, what they're trying to do to us. Anyway, um, with that said, people, let's let's move forward and talk about what, what else is going on here. As I am doing this video blog, stock futures are pointing towards a slightly higher open. Meanwhile, risk in this market, people, is rising. Look at the MMRI. There is a link in the description of this video. Um, people, I'm going to say it again. In my opinion, okay, the MMRI is the best indicator for market risk or measuring market risk that has been created in the last 50 years. It's on the rise here. Last week, and I spoke about this yesterday, we watched an interesting phenomenon occur. The entire yield curve came down. I covered this. We had dollar strength. We saw some weakness in the stock market. That is a fear trade. Invariably, when you see that, it presents opportunity. You know, let me clarify something real quick. Yesterday, when I did my markets a look ahead segment, I explained that you should be buying into weakness well. I was referring mainly to the stock market in that video, but I mean everything, people. How many times have you heard this guy tell you, buy the dips? Look, I understand that there's a lot of people out here who believe that I'm a perma bull. I've covered this. I am not a perma bull. What I do is very simple. I look at the macro picture. I take in what's going on. And they come up with the most likely scenario. What do I believe is going to happen to the market and everything connected to it, you know, based on uh, dynamics that are occurring at any given time? So, yes, for many years now, I have been a raging bull in this market, but that does not mean I'm not going to flip at one point. I told you all this already. I am not a perma bull, but... If things do change in this market and I see see things you know performing in a way that says hold on Greg it's now it's no longer time to be buying into weakness or buying the dips I'm going to tell you that our job or my job here is to keep you ahead of the curve and I've done this for years explaining what's going on around you because I I keep telling you nothing is what it seems to be and everything is corrupt corrupt and this is the again the fall of an empire and i'm not just talking about the united states i'm talking about globally all of the modern governments all the of the world are now slaves to their central banks central banks are running the entire show you know you all know that you know speaking of central banks i keep getting hit with question after question after question about uh the changing of the guard with regard to the federal reserve chairperson you know how much it matters to me how about zero okay the federal reserve 
is a, is a private entity that can do whatever it wants to when it wants to. They're trying to play this up. It's, it's interesting. Oh, oh, this is the biggest decision of President Bidenstein, you know, like Frankenstein. His, his whole presidency, this is it. It's the biggest one. Picking what figurehead is going to be at, at, at the Fed. No. You see, it doesn't matter. They're trying to convince you that what you're seeing is not real yet again. It doesn't matter. And the Federal Reserve will, the Federal Reserve will put who they want in there. Okay, it has nothing to do with the decision of a puppet. The puppet, all presidents are puppets, will announce what the Fed has chosen to do. Okay, but they must remain in some kind of a state where they have to convince you that, oh yeah, you know, power to the people, we're in control. We have no representation and you freaking know that. Period. All right. So the narrative from the mainstream people, again, is more more lockdowns, more restrictions, more of your freedoms being taken away from you, vaccinated or not. Imagine Greg Manorino's surprise. You mean if you're fully vaccinated, you still have your, well, you can't think for yourself, you all know that, and you have to have your behavior curtailed as well? Oh, wow. Wow, I'm just so surprised. See, people, look, this is all about control, nothing else. And you all know that here. It's insane. Anyway, the other big narrative here is soaring energy prices. Okay, we all know that. I mean, can I get a duh, uh, please? Okay, energy prices are soaring. There's more calls for crude oil to be, to be released from strategic reserves, nations around the world. Now there's apparently some pact that's being developed between Japan and the United States to release oil from the strategic reserves. L let me explain this to you. Um, do you think this is going to matter in the long run with regard to surging uh, well, inflation across the board? Forget about energy prices. How about food prices, too, and everything else? We already know they've been talking about price controls. All this would be, okay, if they decide to uh, release oil from the strategic reserves is a Band-Aid. Yeah, sure, you might get some temporary relief here, but it, that's all it's going to be. It's a Band-Aid, and crude, mark my words, people, I don't, I don't care what they do, is going much higher. I still stick to my target of $100 on crude soon. Soon enough, it's going to happen. Because again, look, what are they going to do? They're going to leave the strategic reserves depleted? No, no, they're not going to do that. They're going to you know, refill those, uh, those reserves. And let me, let me explain this to you in case you don't know. Um, they will not hurt OPEC. Um, as we all understand, the U.S. military is mandated to protect the oil of OPEC nations, henceforth, henceforth why the petrodollar exists. And I think you all know that. At least you should. And um, so, look, uh, crude oil will be protected. It will remain high, high enough that uh, OPEC will profit windfall profits like you can't possibly believe, just like Big Pharma, you know, you know, spread some kind of a, uh, a disease around, and fear is the biggest disease if you ask me, uh, and that's what they're pushing on people, fear, fear, control by fear, it's all they do, the oldest trick in the book, you all know that, uh, but yeah, they're going to make sure crude oil stays high so OPEC uh, can reap windfall profits here, and this will be the job of the United States military. Um, who is mandated to protect the price of crude oil, period, the end, and protect the oil itself. I think you all understand that as well. People, so risk in this market is rising. The MMRI is higher, 93.7 the last time I looked at it here, but that does not mean nothing right now. We will remain steadfast. Like I just said about the Fed, it doesn't matter who they put in there. Easy money is going to pour in here like you can't possibly believe. Rates will stay suppressed for as far as the eye can see. The Federal Reserve will continue to buy assets and funnel dollars around the world to other central banks who are buying assets with dollars. Are you not supposed to know that one? No, 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 no. Big secret. Big, in fact, I think that really is, and I'm not joking, the biggest secret that people don't know. <laughs> How many of you believe that the Fed is transparent? How many of you believe that what we see on the Fed's balance sheet is all that they're doing? How about no? The Federal Reserve conducts trillions, multiple trillions of dollars in business off balance sheet. In other words, you can't see it. Um, the Fed can do whatever they want to, whenever they want to. And I think you're all more than well aware of it. Like I told you, people, the system is so corrupt at its core, it makes me want to vomit. It really does. 
I am not. I'm not kidding here. Uh, I wrote down some stuff here this morning. Energy prices surging, strategic reserve calls for that won't make any difference in the long run. You all know that. Uh, the Fed chair doesn't matter who the hell they put in there or, or they want it. Whatever they're going to choose to do, the Federal Reserve won't matter. Easy money is going to continue suppressed rates, grand theft on an unimaginable scale from the middle class. Uh, as, as they get eliminated, they're getting exterminated. They're digging their own graves. They're not doing anything about it, at least here in the United States. In par other parts of the world, where where restrictions on this thing that's going around uh, are getting extreme, people have had enough. People have had enough, and I think people realize that what they're seeing here is very real. It's all about control. It has nothing to do with anything else, period. The end. Are they going to play their fear card as for as far as they can can get away with it, people uh, at, at least I hope are starting to wake up a little bit. Anyway, um, regardless of anything else, with strategic reserve oil being released, uh, it's not going to matter, people. You're going to continue to see inflation surge, surge higher. Okay, all by design. None of this is by accident. You all know that. You got to stay on the right side of the freak show, okay? It's a freak show of the highest possible order. All right, people, look, I'm going to get going. I could keep talking, but uh, this video is running kind of late today. I, I apologize for that. I will see all of you later on. We're going to sum this up and maybe even add a few things. <laughs> hey, look, I didn't have a meltdown. Wow.